Seems the Oscars really were everything, everywhere, all at once. The awards show broadcast attracted an average audience of 18.7 million viewers. That's up 12% relative to last year, despite being up against The Last of Us season finale. Granted, it's a far cry from the Oscars' heyday in 1998, when 55 million watched Titanic win Best Picture. But it is worth noting that this year's Oscars had more viewers than the most recent Emmys and Grammys combined. Meanwhile, Canada's Juno Awards for music tend to get less attention than those other shows, but they're getting a fair bit today because of what happened at Monday's event. I present to you a topless protester storming the stage while punk princess Avril Lavigne was presenting. With his Punjabi roots, Based in Victoria, BC, his music has gained a worldwide audience with sold out shows in Canada, the US. Get the fuck off. <laughs> Get the fuck off, bitch. <laughs> Though the awards were held in Edmonton, Alberta, the protesters' Save the Green Belt message was referencing an issue here in Ontario. If you're watching, topless lady, you may have been kicked off the stage at the Junos, but we welcome you with open arms here at the Naked News Studio. <laughs> Of course, as a Canadian, Avril also could have given the protester the finger, so to speak. A judge in Quebec recently acquitted a man on a criminal harassment case stemming from a dispute between neighbors. In doing so, the judge wrote the following, Flipping the proverbial bird is a God-given, charter-enshrined right that belongs to every red-blooded Canadian. It may not be civil, it may not be polite, it may not be gentlemanly. Nevertheless, it does not trigger criminal liability. Hmm, good to know. <laughs> In fact, I think I might go for a quick walk and celebrate my Canadian rights and freedoms. But I'll be back in a bit with more headlines. <laughs> 